everyone, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and today we're going to be blasting through some more book pages together by making some pretty postcards out of not so pretty postcards. So what I did was I rummaged through my postcard pile, pile and I found a bunch that I wasn't so, you know, I figured I'd probably uh, wouldn't use in a journal. So I pulled them out and then I made these babies. So I'll show you these actually. Let me put these down so I stop floating and I'll zoom in. There I am in. Okay. Um, okay. Trying to do this without mucking up the stickles. All right. That's the front. That's the front of the postcard, which has been covered with an Edith Holden book page. And here is the back. And I put a, um, a stamp. It's a, whoop, where is it? Here it is. It's a dictionary stamp with the definition of love on it there as if that was the address and I made a little postage stamp out of a Edith Holden butterfly and I put a sticker uh, over this and I thought it was kind of neat how the wording of the original postcard shows through. That's one example. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, is that okay? Yeah, okay. This is example number two. This is example number two. Uh, warning, these are still wet. <laughs> so I'm really trying not to touch those. Uh, this is the back of the postcard. I just did a little collage, some stamping with some little stamps like this. Got those on AliExpress. These are from Ali as well. Trying to use up the stuff that I bought from Ali. My God, I bought so much. Um, put some lines on it. This is a Christmas stamp. Um, and on this side, which has nothing to do with Christmas, <laughs> but I was just pl playing and having fun. But this was that technique that we tried the other night of stamping and then coloring in with rubber stamps and then coloring in with colored pencil. Well, this was actually marker that I used this time. I'm rummaging through my drawers to find out what other uh, items I have that I never play with. And I've decided it's time to pull those out and play with them. Inked around and oh, I told you I'd put this down so I wasn't going to do that right. Okay, I better put this down because I, I feel like I'm going to touch that. Okay, I'm putting it down. Here's a tear. I'm putting it down. Uh, has a it's a tear example. Oh, let me back out a bit. Okay, okay. There we go. Um, there was part of this uh, postcard that I liked, and part I wanted to cover. And what is hidden behind here is a Holiday Inn, and uh, it's an old postcard from Holiday Inn. So I put a label with a butterfly here. Did some uh, uh, liquid pearls down the side and inked it up a little bit. And then on the back, I left it very simple. I left the old Holiday Inn emblem here and I put a stamp, a regular stamp on there, an old vintage one, and then a sticker here that I got from AliExpress. So you can see different examples of ways to decorate them. You don't need to buy anything from AliExpress. It's just I had so much stuff I had to use it up. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, you can totally cut out pictures and um, or draw things and uh, stamp things and color them in. Here's another example. I used a collage here of just bits and bops. That's another alternative. Here's a faux stamp. Uh, I just did some coloring on it uh, to make it match the pink. It had an orange background. And then I just tore out some uh, words from a large font children's book. And uh, then I used the liquid pearls to do some uh, punctuation there on the sides. So that's kind of fun too. Drawing with the liquid pearls. And on the back, this is a pic uh, page from an old ledger, 1903. And I just put this little doodad up in the corner, but left it as is. And I did sew around this. Sewing is optional. It's not mandatory with this technique, but it's a nice little uh, upgrade, shall you say. Not mandatory. Okay. And... Here's another one. Uh, these are butterfly stickers, more liquid pearls, a uh, little stamp here, little faux stamp with a little pearly do. And I used a label as the area to write your uh, description or your uh, address in. And the front page of this was a book page that I tore apart and I went around the edges and just rubbed some of the uh, gold gilding paste, which is that waxy paste. Where is it? Um, like this stuff. There you go. This is the bronze one. I could just got my hand on that faster. Okay. And um, very simple, very easy to do. Very, very quick project. Very fun. And uh, what to do with those ugly postcards. So we may call this ugly postcards turn pretty. Here's another one. Uh, now this one was a pretty botanical 
uh, page, but I went ahead and I stamped some butterflies on it and then I just stickled them up a little bit to give them a little pizzazz and inked around the edges and then on the back. I did the simple stamping technique, just went lightly over uh, the written area, leaving it intact and um, put a sticker stamp here. And then instead of the actual address, I just put some floral uh, design. So this is obviously uh, going to Flora land <laughs> or flower land um, addressed to Mr. and Mrs. Flowers. Um, okay, so there you go. There's some options for you. And let's make some of these. These are fun. Um, I'm actually getting a little addicted to making these. Um, okay, let me see if I'm staying in frame here. Am I in? I'm in. Okay. Um, all right. So I let's let's do this one. And at first I thought, oh, this is just a nice little house or a hotel or motel or something like that. No. You know what this is? For God's sakes, who who makes a postcard for this place? Can you see that? Funeral home. Um, <clears throat> jo Dear Joe and Sarah, wish you were... No, maybe not. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Carry on with whatever you were doing. Um, okay, so yeah, that's kind of odd. It was a postcard from a funeral home. I thought this one was worthy of being covered. So we're going to slap her down. And the way we do that is we pull out the glue stick when we show it who's boss. This one. Okay, and we're gluing. This is so easy. I love, I, I actually, I really love this project. It's so easy and it's so, I don't know, it's just so strangely satisfying. I don't know, maybe I've had a quest to cover these ugly postcards um, for a while. I've had them in a pile and I keep thinking, can I use that in a journal? And I'm thinking, no, <laughs> I don't want to use that in a journal. I don't want to use it, but now I'm finding a way I can use it. This is awesome. I'm really excited about this. Um, okay. So here we go with the Bob's your uncle. Good luck flop. There we go. Mm-hmm. We're down. We're down. All right. Hand tool. Can use a brayer. This is a very easy, uh, project. Anybody can do this. A great way to use up stuff you've got. Moving this out of the way because now it's all gluey. And uh, now we're going to use the postcard as our Terry ruler. Tear, tear, tear. Whoop. Isn't that fun? Oh, do I need to back out? Maybe, huh? Oh, you can see it. That's, that's okay. Tell me if it's too close. Okay. There we go. And there we go. And don't worry about the little pieces. Remember, we have our ways. There we go. Okay, so what we have is this. You can see there's little rough edges, but that doesn't freak us out. Heck no. Why, you say? I put it away. Why? Hang on. I'm cleaning up after myself, actually. We've got our handy dandy best friend ever called sanding block. I got this at Home Depot, I think. And we are just going to sand these little evils away. It sands much easier than the, the writing board because this is a thinner project, um, but it, it's very satisfying. I don't know, it's like, I don't know. I just love working with this sanding block. It's my new latest and greatest little gizmo tool. Forget all those fancy memory keepers this and you know, Tim Holtz that. Oh well, there goes all the sponsorship. <laughs> don't worry, there wasn't any. Um, but yeah, done. Hello, done. Isn't that nice? Yeah. I'll just check a little bit on the back there. All right. Ah, a little bit there too. Okay. But it's, it, it's very effective. That's what I'm trying to say. Very quick, very easy. Gives you nice sealed edges. Love those. How awesome is that? Okay. So we've got our um, base and I think we're going to ink this one um, in some lovely green. I have... Everything's so organized here. Oh, don't let me eat my words, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, going around the mountain. Just a quick ink. All right, very easy. You can do any color, you can do no color. I'm gonna ink the inside too. I think that uh, gives it a little more um, eye, f eye flare. I'm thinking eye fuzz. Um, <laughs> You know, that is so odd with the funeral home. I almost feel like I want to leave that on there just for, for interest, but it's kind of creepy. So I don't know. 
Um, all right, so now we have that, and now we can do whatever we want with this. This is like, you know, we can go to town. I think I'm going to use the example that I did with the, the well, one, of, I'm gonna use this stamp, and I might use this stamp too. These are completely unrelated. This does not belong to this tree, but who cares? It's, it's, it's my imagination and I get to play with it, right? Right, okay, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna use some black soot. Okay, distressing, this stamp. All right. Okay, it's kind of a lighty. That's all right. Um, a, I'm supposed to daub and not uh, rub. Daub, right? You know what? These are new stamps, so it's probably it's got that silicone stuff on there, not picking it up as much. That's okay. I don't. I don't need your silicone. Oh, that didn't come out so good. We'll fix that. <laughs> That happens, doesn't it? Okay, you know what? Let me borrow you a little bit. You ever heard of that? Just rubbing your stamps lightly? I think I heard that from Frugal Crafter. She said just rub them lightly with a sander or um, emery board and that takes off that silicone nonsense. Okay, let's see if that worked. Oh yeah, we got a better stamp. Well, I mean, you know, comparable. But uh, let me give a couple more of these. Yeah. Nope. Oh. I'm getting the end there for some reason. Oh, we're going to have to figure that out. All right, we'll just do one there. Okay, that's good. We'll leave that there. All right, we're going to do anything with you? Okay, hang on. Okay, tonight I'm going to play with this Azure. I think this is an alcohol ink blendable professional artist marker. Um, I got this in a grab bag at Goodwill, so let's see how it works. I think it works okay because I used it on the butterfly and it worked out okay. So yeah, we seem to be doing okay here. All right, so I'm just gonna color all this in. All right, just going around here, coloring, coloring. All right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and color the rest of this in and I'll be right back. Okay, so we've had a little disaster here. Um, I would call it the level of, um, oh my God, disaster pants. So what happened was I originally tried to color it in, in uh, colored pencil, but I thought it came out too light compared to the marker that I used on the green. So I brought in some heavy artillery, uh, my Tombow marker, and I think I it's just so dark and it washed away all the detail of the stamp, so I made, I did the, the grand foible of trying to over stamp on top of the marker, hoping to get the marker line or the stamp lines back in there. And well, I just ended up with a big giant blobberoo. See that? Okay, so what do we do when we have a blobberoo? We cover, we cover it. That's right, that's right. We can mask many of our ills. So I just fussy cut, um, sad little fussy cut, but I fussy cut this out of a, a uh, illustrated book page and I'm just gonna plop that little pup right there maybe it might need something underneath hold on no actually I've decided I'm going to leave it as is don't monkey with what's working right sometimes you gotta just go for it and if you have to walk away and come back and decide that you like it later <laughs> then that's what needs to be done okay so this is going down all right how are we going there there okay there you go get on there Okay, so now we have this. Okay, that's a, that's a little more palatable, right? Okay, and we'll jazz this up a little bit at the end, um, but I'm gonna flip it over and we're gonna do the other side. Okay, here we go. Now, what do we have to work with? All sorts of stuff here. All right. Okay, so I thought what might be fun on this, doing something different with the uh, stamp areas, is I have this little eucalyptus leaf. Um, it's still kind of fresh, but it's soft enough where I can glue it down. And um, I'm going to use that as my stamp. So I'm going to call that the stamp. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, you know, we've got supplies right outside the front door too. Not just the ones that the mailman brings us, but we've got, uh, you know, nature's uh, flora out there. And uh, actually this came from the florist, so I can't really say I plucked this off my, my <laughs> yard. But um, yes, there, you know, Hey, it's like giving the plant a second chance at life here, right? You were in the flower vase and now you 
are immortal. That's right. To be admired by many. All right, your little stickeroo probably needs a little goober under there. Get under there. Yoop. Okay. Okay. Just hold that for a second. And I do, I do have my little wet nap ready for sticky finger moments. Yeah, as this is oh, one of them. Yeah, okay, there we go. Not too bad. Okay, so now we get to decorate this little guy. <sighs> Let me just dry him off a little bit. I got him wet. Okay, and you can see, okay. Um, so I thought, I thought this little leaf on this paper, this fall style paper was kind of, this leaf, this tree was kind of pretty, but this tree is kind of pretty too. And, and this, well, no, we went with flower now, so we're not really fall, but hey, that kind of matches that color. So let me go with this tree and I'm just gonna fussy cut this tree out. Um, I'm not the best fussy cutter, so this is gonna be a, this is gonna be what we call the saddest uh, demonstration of fussy cutting ever. All right, now it's got a sharp edge and I might use that. So let's just see. All right, fussy cut, fussy cut. Okay, so we can use the edge and we can do that. That's kind of cute, right? I, I can do that. So let's get the green and we'll just green it up just a little bit for a little emphasis and distinction from the background. Okay. I'm telling you, these are so, so uh, maybe I'm the only one that thinks these are fascinating, but I, I could just make these till the cows come home. And uh, they're a lot easier than the writing board because you don't have to fight with the thick cardboard. And this is just a, a little, a little wimpy postcard and you know you can even you can take on and I can take on Popeye. <laughs> All right. There we go. How about that? That's kind of cute. Okay, we'll do that. Sold. Sold to the only bidder. Yeah. There we go. Gluing, gluing. Did I tell you how much I love this glue? I love this glue. Okay. Let's just get that there. All right, that's cute. Oh, I, I, okay. Stay focused. All right, now I have this paper. It's kind of like craft paper. It feels like it must have been some to type of wrapping paper or something before, but it's really thin and it's kind of cool. And I thought I'd make a, like a little area down here. Um, how big do you want to be? Where's my ruler? Here you are. Come to mama. Okay. All right. Ugh. Never enough room in the craft room. <laughs> okay. Are we still in frame? Yep. Okay. Probably better up there, right? Okay. Oh, I'm going to use my tearing ruler. Are you saying, why don't you just measure it? But I'm, I'm just, I like to tear. Tearing to me is fun. Yeah, I, there's like an enjoyment factor out of it. The sound of the paper tearing, the crinkly factor, the little rough edge. Okay, I know, it's all just extreme joy. Um, okay, so let's use that as our address area. So, um, you know, from the different examples, you know, you can put something like words in there, or you can put stamps in there, or, you can put a sticker in there or a label um, or nothing. You don't have to put something in there. Um, but I think I'm just, yeah, let me do this guy. He looks cute. All right, let's try to ink him. He's very, very tender. Tender little tootsies here on this paper. But this nice little roughed up edge is going to grab the ink nicely. See how nice that grabs? Yeah. It just soaks up that ink. I think that's probably why I really like the torn edge. You can, you have a lot more um, variety of things you can do with it because it just really absorbs the ink well. Okay, I think that's pretty cool. Um, okay, so still maintaining the postcardish style theme. You know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to leave the funeral home right there because I just think that's it's different. And I'll always look at that and say, hey. Glad you're not here <laughs> with us at the funeral home. Um, this is a goofy thing, huh? Okay, there we go. That's just darn creepy. Okay. 
Um, and we're down. Okay. Okay, so we have that so far. Um, what if I can write on that? Hang on. Okay, I'm going to attempt to write on the leaf and the leaf with this. Uh, what is this? It's a it's a white gel pen. I don't know if this one has a name. Oh, here we go. It's a Uniball Signo Um One Five Three. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Cross your fingers. Huh? Maybe. I'll make it a simple thing here. Should have made it 11 cents. That was simpler. Okay, that's all right. Got to go over it a few times. There we go. How's that? I'll show you. Kind of cute, huh? A little different. Okay. Um, indicating the stamp is stampedness of it. I don't know. I'm on this correspondence kick lately. Uh, very cool. Oh, maybe we could do some white lines on here. That might be cool. Let's try that. Sort of happening here. I never know with these gel pens. Kind of hit or miss. We'll go for two lines. I think that's what all we're going to get out of it. Oh. Maybe three. Okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. And you could also stamp it with black lines. I just thought it might be fun to do with the, the white lines. Okay, so there's the back of the postcard. And here's our front. And I think I'll put a little, um, you know, sparklies on it or something because I think it just needs a little pizzazz. Okay, I've got liquid pearls um, in blush and brass. And we'll just see how this goes. No idea how this is going to go, but here we go. Just going to follow the shape of the flower a little bit. Okay, that's kind of fun. Maybe I'll put a dab on each one of the little stamens here to say we did. All right. And then maybe I'll do some. Oop, let me get you in the frame. All right. Trying to keep you in frame. Okay, there we go. And let's just do some. Uh, corner border management here. Okay, you got to watch this every once in a while. If this gets stuck, don't like over squeeze because it'll come out in a big giant splurge. And that'll be, you know, disaster pants at that point. So don't do that. Just like back off, get the little pin, clear the pipe and test it. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Now you know when you got free flow again and you're back in business. Okay. And maybe we'll do down here as well. Do, 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 do. So fast with these stickles. It's great when you get rolling. Okay. So we're going to call that done. We could probably do a little more on it, but that's okay. I think it's good for now. So here is this example. Let me attempt to put all the examples in your view finder. I know you're saying don't mush the stickles. I hear you. Uh, believe me, I'm with you on this one. Okay, so we got this one. And I'll kind of show you. Well, oh, I got to back out. Okay. Oh my God, you can see the whole mess now. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I'll just put these around the world so you can see them. But they were a lot of fun. And um, I encourage you to give, you, give these a try. And let me see what you guys come up with. I cannot wait to see. <clears throat> I think that's all of oh, one more. And here's the Edith Holden one. So this one looks like this on the back. Okay, we'll just put Edith there. So there you go, guys. It was a lot of fun. And yet again, I'm covered in ink, but that means I had a lot of fun. So I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this too. Um, uh, you guys have been amazing. I, uh, I just, um, I'm so appreciative of all your support and encouragement. Thank you very much, guys. Um, I look, I have so many things coming your way. I just keep creating this master list of great ideas and you guys are giving me ideas too and I love that and I log every idea so um, you know we've got great things to come um, and that's it so I'm just going to say hey have an awesome uh, uh, rest of your day 
and please like subscribe and share if you find value here and check out our Facebook page I would love to see what you guys do I made it a place so everybody can share their projects and the things that they're making with these uh, ideas and I want to hear if you have more ideas or, or different ideas if you take these in different ways please uh, share because we all learn from each other thanks everybody have a nice night take care